Hi guys and welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. This week we're reviewing a US independent watch brand called Vero. But before we start, sorry about my lip. It's a cold sore or something. You haven't accidentally stumbled on me doing a new beauty blog. It's not partly lipstick or anything. But luckily the watch dial is a lot prettier than my face. We'll do more close-ups of that than my face. This was kindly lent to me by Vero. So this is one that has to be sent back. Unfortunately, I'm not big enough YouTuber for them to send me one of these in for free like the Time Teller. But I'm happy to help them out as with all US watch brands. I, I live in the US and I'm happy to promote US independent watch brands like Vero and you know all the others that you've seen on the channel. And also jewelry over the Time Teller's channels a lot bigger than mine at the moment. So this is the watch that's doing the rounds. I probably wouldn't buy one of these myself because as everyone knows who watched the channel, I've got a real obsession with having the date on the watch and this one doesn't have the date. Why? But thankfully my love for promoting US independent watch brands is more than my love for having the date on a watch even though i really love the date on this watch and they don't make any watches with the date on in their entire catalog it looks like and also it's a little smaller than i like to wear this is a 38 millimeter watch but if you like that 38 millimeter case size and you like the field watch aesthetic it's a cheeky little number this one when i opened this very nice leather pouch that the watch came in to say i was pleasantly surprised was a bit of an understatement i was very very impressed with this watch when I opened it and considering this watch is only the princely sum of $795 you're getting a lot of watch for your money not only do you get it on this very attractive ribbed leather watch strap but you also get it on this IWC-esque bracelet that is very high quality also comes with the watch as well and it has a very nice push button ratchet clasp it really allows you to give it that extra notch if your wrist swells up during those really warm summer months. So who are Vero? They were watch collectors themselves and they started it in Portland, Oregon. And I believe when they started out, they were machining some of the parts themselves, but now that's been outsourced to Switzerland. One of the striking things about this watch and the reason that I was impressed with it is their use of color. This blue dial and this particular model is called the Meridian Wind Rambler. It is a series of watches they had. This one is coming in at 38 millimeters. Here you can see it on my 7.2 inch wrist. The machining on the case, very high quality. Even though both of the bracelets are quick release, this also has drilled lugs as well. Although it looks like the lugs might be slightly too thin for drilled lugs or slightly thinner than what you would see a, a drilled lug watch have. I don't think it's going to cause any issues at all. It's certainly not going to, bring bar certainly isn't going to wear through the metal. But the case overall is very nicely finished, brushed all across the front of the watch and the bezel. The nice thing about the bezel is it's circular, not brushed in one direction. It's brushed in a circular pattern to complement the bezel. And it gives it quite, quite a nice look and does capture the light when you're outside. The sides of the case are polished and the crown nicely proportioned, easy to grip. But the real gem of this watch is when you turn it over and you can see that absolutely gorgeous Solita SW210-1 mechanical movement. And because it's hand wind, we don't have any of the rotor obscuring that beautiful movement that Vero have finished themselves. They've added a black rhodium plating and heat treated blue screws. The screws aren't painted blue, they are heat treated. It looks absolutely spectacular. This looks like a watch in the many thousands of dollars, not $795. I also love the way that they have filled in the text in gold. It's absolutely beautiful looking at that movement and they they do regulate them in house as well and they regulate them to six positions which will give you plus or minus five seconds a day not that these are cost measured to, but usually measured to cost is between i think minus four and plus six it's around there so this is right in that sweet spot and it does seem to be keeping very good time the dial as well is gorgeous art deco i would say feel to it the first thing that i thought of was namos not that this is a homage to namos watches this has a, a familiar field watch aesthetic to it they're not breaking any boundaries here making a field watch but the way the dial looks is namos like but also they've added their own twist to it that we have a step 
down centerpiece. This isn't an optical illusion. There is a step down here. The numbers on the outside. There is a nice loom shot. The second hand isn't loomed, but the hour and minute hand are loomed. On some of these close-ups, if you are noticing there looks like there's a hair, that's not one of my hairs. It seems to be trapped between the glass and the dial. This is a press sample that I do have to send back. So I think this is a prototype. I wouldn't expect their actual production models to have a hair in them. I'm sure it was just a an oversight. Even though the watch is smaller than what I like to wear, it is an increased size from their previous version. The watch is coming in at a 38 millimeter case with 9.4 millimeter thickness and then a 44.5 millimeter lug to lug with the bracelet and the strap both being 18 mil. So you might have to dig those 18 mil straps out of your watch box if you do want to put this on a NATO or another fabric strap. But I don't think you'd need to. This leather strap, very, very high quality. But the bracelet the bracelet is a real triumph as well reminds me of one of the iwc bracelets but they've put their own twist on it again it's quick release so very easy to swap out complements the overall look and feel of the watch the nice thing with this is it is screw links brushing on the back brushing on the front and on the sides if you don't love that riveted look even though it the screws are flush I think because of the curved nature of the screws, it does look like it is riveted, but it actually isn't. It is smooth. Incredibly, they provide a 10-year warranty, which I think is just awesome. Big thanks to the Vero guys to send me this watch in for review. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And if you're from Portland, I live in the US myself and I meet a lot of people from Portland. So if you're from Portland and this is spurring your uh, interest, then let me know in the comments section down below whether you would buy one. As always... It matters more what your opinion is. Let me know in the comment section down below. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, love it if you subscribe and hit that thumbs up and the bell notification. See you next time on the Casual Watch Review channel.